Welcome to SAU Vic. I'm white. I'm black. And we're here at the SAU Vic. Show and shine. No homo. Um, we got quite a big turnout here today. It's uh, probably double the size of last year. A lot of skylines, a lot of not skylines, and even a bike up the back there somewhere. Um, let's go down and take a look. We're here with uh, our newest member, Daniel, who had signed up today. Daniel's a Mitsubishi Evolution owner. There's a bit of a growing trend in SAU Vic, where a lot of ex-Skyline owners are either purchasing Evos or we just have a lot of Evo owners joining the club. Daniel, do you want to tell us a bit about your car? How long have you owned it for? I've owned the car for almost a year now. So I bought it last year, May. Um, I'm the first registered owner of it in Australia. Um, previous owner had it in Australia but he just used it for track so I'm the first one to put it on the road. And uh, what have you done to it modification wise? I uh, bought the car fairly stock so um, did the FP green, stainless steel manifold, 1050 injectors, E85, um, video dump front, um, genuine arc titanium 3 inch straight pipe the whole way and um, the work XT9s, coilovers, so that's about it. Have we got a dyno figure? Uh, we're only pushing about 220 at the moment, but um, that's on very low boost, so it's almost stock boost. That makes an Evo pretty quick anyway though, doesn't it? Uh, it gives my brother's JDR a bit of a run, so... Alright, so here we're with Manoj De Silva. He's a very new uh, member to SAU, actually joined up today. He's here with his E46 M3. Do you want to tell us a bit about it? Oh yeah, it's just my third M3. Um, in the last two years, just can't help but you know, going through them and writing them off, and just trying to keep this one, you know, and um, yes, yeah, take it easy this time. What modifications has it got to it? A few things are like a super sprint full exhaust, TMS intakes, SMG tune, just carbon fiber bits here and there, various and wheels, and um, some, some coal levers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks for speaking to us today. Uh, no worries, man. So we're here with Daniel, the proud owner of a 34 NUR. Uh, Daniel, how long have you owned this car for? Uh, it's been a little over two years now. So uh, yeah, it's been it's been pretty good. It's spent a lot of time in the workshop, unfortunately, but that's that's my fault for just wanting to do things. But no, nah, it's been it's been fun. It's been good. And there's something very unique about this car. Do you want to tell us more about that, Daniel? Yeah, uh, I had sort of a, an idea where well, I've always wanted to put on E85. That was the first thing I wanted to do. But um, I wanted to try something different where uh, I could sort of fill up with any combination of V85 or 98, so, which is known as flex fuel. And um, so I took it down to Trent at Checker Tuning and basically told him what I wanted. And I'm not sure you can't really see it, but there's like a sensor here which is, um, measures the percentage of ethanol um, that's in the tank. And then Trent set it up so the ECU changes on the fly. Um, the timing and fueling depending on what percentage of ethanol is in there so I'm not stuck between two maps and having to drain tanks and stuff I can kind of fill it up with any combination of anything um, you know and yeah it's all safe and you know happy days so if I need to go on a long trip I can put 98, 98 in and um, if I come across an E85 pump I can you know fill some of that stuff up so yeah nice and flexible. And uh, for the non-tech savvy people, how much power does that translate to? Uh, on E85 we got to 400 at the wheels, so um, 
you know, it should still uh, kept it pretty conservative. But, um, you know, that's more than enough, I think, for my driving skills. I actually weigh more than my driving skills. So, uh, yeah, well, I think we'll leave it at that for, for the time being. No worries. Well, thanks for your time, Daniel. No worries. We've got Alan here from our SAU Vic, one of our members. Um, tell us a bit about your exhibit, R33. Yeah. Um, well, had the car for 12 years. Um, yeah, it was 100% stock standard when I bought it. <laughs> and it was a working project for about nine years until um, it reached the stage where I'm happy with it and um, haven't touched it for the last three years. Um, yeah, it's been good to me. Haven't had much issues with the car, but yeah, for those nine years it was a constant project, just one upgrade after another. Yeah. I hear it's for sale. Yes, yes, unfortunately, um, yeah, just the, as I said, I've been driving as it is for three years, um, the last 18 months haven't been really driving it much, and personally I just prefer to see it in someone's hands that appreciate it than sitting in the garage degrading, getting scratched, exactly right. and not being used for what it's been built for so yeah it comes to a time where you've had your fun yeah. you've had the most enjoyment out of it and time to get rid of it no worries well thanks a lot for speaking to us so we're here with SAU Vic president John who's going to tell us a bit about SAU Vic the Skyline Car Club so uh, SAU Vic this year was uh, reasonably interesting uh, we had a new treasurer this year Tony so it was great to see Tony come on board and he supplied a, a lot of uh, great ideas and, and great initiative. Uh, so SAU Vic 2012 is going along quite nice. We had a number of deckers this year um, that proved to be very popular. One left to run after this event. Uh, and I've got Dan in the background. Hang on. What the hell? Like this. <sighs> <You know? laughs> um, okay, so do -do 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 -do. cutting some shit together. Lathe is right now. Um, so uh, today we've got the SAU Vic show and shine here at uh, Como Park in uh, South Yarra. As you can see and as you'll see with a lot of footage today that uh, there's a number of cars, awesome looking cars here. Um, great to see everyone turn out, uh, great atmosphere, blah blah blah. I don't know, I'm totally lost now. <laughs> you need me to ask this, you more questions? Yeah, pretty much. Martin asked me questions last year, man. All right, I'm meant to answer here. Alright, I'll think of questions, okay. You gotta face the front. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to think of questions. Okay, so John, uh, what's what's on the horizon for SAUV? Next year we're looking at running Decca again, obviously. So there'll be three or four Decca competitions up at the showgrounds and the the Decca facilities at uh, Shepparton. Uh, we're looking at maybe running a Haunted Hills or a Broadford Track Day as well, just to expand on uh, what people are looking at. Uh, we're running a, a go kart event early in the year as well. Uh, we're looking at doing a track day slash end of year show uh, for uh, for everybody at Sandown Raceway next at the end of this year with WX Club. So that'll be an interesting gathering. Uh, so you, you'll be able to uh, do passenger laps all day, get your car out on track, and then uh, and then uh, have something to eat afterwards. So. Is that still in rumour stage or is that confirmed yet? No, that's confirmed now. Uh, we're working through WRX with the, the number of cars we can, we can have at the event. Uh, obviously they're running it, so uh, it's up to them how many we can bring along, but at this stage we're looking at 20 or 30 SAU Vic cars being able to compete in that event. Um, and uh, anyone can rock up during the day and we'll have pizzas and Subway and you know, food and a good old time. Oh. Thanks John. Well we're here with Samir from one of our other SAU Vic members. Um, recently just acquired this very, very nice 32 GDR. Um, do you want to tell us a bit about it? Um, engine wise? Everything wise. Oh right, everything wise. Uh, well, she's got the RB26, <laughs> no, for, forged, forged pistons, um, dash 5s, cam gears, cams, 170, 11mm lift. How much power is it running? Uh, 350 at all four. Is it fun? Very fun, always. Do you plan on keeping it for a little while? I or? do. I'll grow old with this. You will grow old. <laughs> yes. Um, Alright, so thanks for speaking to us today, Samia. You're welcome. Back to you. Well, that's it for SAU Vic's Show and Shine for 2012. Um, hope you all enjoyed watching this video that uh, Laith made for us. I'd um, like to thank SAU Vic, the committee team, for organising and all the members for coming along and making it a good day. Would you like to say anything, birds? I mean, white. You're a very black man. Thanks, Whitey.
What's going on? So yeah, we're we're, we're actually up. just oh, wrapping really? it up. Sorry, Did you guys, want to just, say you spoiled the whole uh, shot. Really, I just spoiled the whole shot. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> I just want to thank uh, Lay and these two clowns for uh, helping out videoing for today, and everyone for attending, <laughs> and uh, everyone for uh, in in committee for organising. So thanks, guys. No worries. And Samir for the flag holder. And Samir. Thank you. Just down there. <laughs> so we have Alvin here, one of our thorough Vic Wasteland attendees. Come on. How are you, buddy? The supplier of Wagyu. Um, he's very, very, very unpresentable 30 car. You want to tell us a bit about your car? My car completely stopped. <laughs> Nothing changed. The suspension stopped. The wheel, the wheel is too big, too wide, too wide. So I had to get the Indian guy to roll the guard. <laughs>